Our next speaker is going to be speaking to us from the perspective of Thailand, so give, giving us an example from Asia. I'd like to invite Ms. Ladawan Kampa, who is the Deputy Secretary General of the National Economic and Social Development Board of Thailand. Uh, thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before I uh, give the answer for the question, I would like to give some information about Thailand. Uh, Thailand, we have total lands about 500,000 square kilometer, and about 300,000 square kilometer is made of the coastal and marine areas, along with the approximately 2,600 kilometers of the coastal line and 600 islands. And we have the coral reefs cover the areas of 153 square meters. We have about 8% of the estimated total numbers of the pest species found globally, and about 10% of all coral species found in the world. So you can see that Thailand is one of the countries that have the biodiversity rich. Okay. The loss of biodiversity in Thailand, we found that it contributes not only for the economic growth, but also the well-being of the people. For economic growth, the biodiversity contributes to agricultural sector, agro-industry, and also the tourism. For the well-being, we found that about 60% of the people rely on the uh, biodiversity uh, area. So, for the first question, uh, just ask about that, uh, uh, what we uh, found by the process benefit our country. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that the biofin process of, uh, it benefit our countries a lot. First of all, we found that by step of the process, it made many people, not only the government agency, but also the private sector, and the local people knows about the importance of the biodiversity in our country. And how important we should invest more in biodiversity in our country, because they contribute a lot for the Thailand. But the expenditure that we give every year to invest in biodiversity is very less compared with what they benefit our country. So this process will help all parties, all stakeholders uh, uh, aware more, to invest more in biodiversity. The second one, uh, by the step of the biodiversity uh, uh, biofin process, we found that uh, we create the more cooperation among the private sectors and the uh, government sectors and also the NGO, more about the biodiversity, because all of the agency know how much is important to our economy and then uh, know that they should contribute more for that investment. And at the same time, now Thailand also start to implement the SDG. And we know that biodiversity concerned with the 14 and 15 targets about the uh, below the water and life on land. That's very important in Thailand also. So by the process of biofin, uh, it make we have the clear picture how to implement that goal also. Now we ask uh, the, uh, the agency, not only the private sector, but also the government to do what we call the roadmap to achieve the target of uh, the 14 and the 15 of the SDG. And before that, the biofin process is benefit us a lot. Make me have more clear pictures about that. This is my first answer. The second one, so the challenge to the biofin. The firstly, I think very important, the limited of the budget. That we know now our country uh, aim to invest more about the infrastructure, about the road, the rail, uh, and also the dam, for example, but it affects the, uh, uh, the resource that can invest more in the biodiversity. So without that, we need to make more efficient allocation of the resource, again, in order to make sure that the biodiversity can receive enough budget in order to invest more in the future. 
The second one, the challenge is the climate change because uh, the effects of the climate change it has quite uh, very obvious. Uh, in the year 2011, we faced with a very heavy flood, and now we faced with the drought. So this affects our economies a lot, and we found that in this case, the investment more in the biodiversity. Uh, in this case, it's more important. It should mitigate and adapt for the results of the climate change. And the third one, we found that uh, in order to make sure that is, uh, uh, we can implement more about the sustainable development goal and also the biodiversity, now we have the 11 National Economic and Social Development Plan. Start this year, 2016-2021, uh, that aim to make we have the growth based sustainable development. That biodiversity is one of the key points that we want to achieve a more list of biodiversity and make the equal and balance between the conservation and the utilization of biodiversity. At the same time, we, uh, now we draft what we call the 20 years national strategy plan for our country in order to achieve the higher income country in the next 20 years. And we, in our national strategy uh, plan, 20 years, we also put the emphasis on the importance of the investment in the biodiversity. And we found that uh, this is a challenge issue that if we can do that, the biodiversity in our country will come back to reach and come back to contribute more and more in our economy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Kampa.